A shocking case coming uh, of a VVIP at the receiving end being robbed aboard a train at gunpoint. Madhya Pradesh Finance Minister Jayant Malia and his wife were allegedly robbed at gunpoint in a train in Uttar Pradesh earlier today. The couple was travelling in a first AC compartment of Jabalpur Nizamuddin Express on their way to Delhi. As per reports, the decoity took place near Kosi Kalan railway station near Mathura at about 4 in the morning. According to sources, as many as six armed robbers wearing masks boarded the train at Mathura. The minister and his wife were asleep and were woken up by the decoits. The couple were looted and threatened with dire consequences if they raised an alarm. The robbers fled after stopping the train by pulling the alarm chain. Malia later lodged a complaint at GRP police station at Hazrat Nizamuddin railway station. The railway minister stressed about safety and security of its passengers in the rail budget, but how much of it is true on ground reality? We have with us uh, Sudha Malaya, she's wife of Jayant Malaya, who is the finance minister in Madhya Pradesh. A daring train robbery happened. You've been a victim of that train robbery. You've been looted of a great amount of money. Uh, there has also been jewellery which has been stolen from you. How daring was this train robbery and what really happened? Please give us an account. It was that. quite daring, I must say that. And uh, we were traveling by Jabalpur Nizamuddin Express from Damo to De De Delhi. And uh, at 4, 4 a.m. morning today, uh, somebody knocked my door heavily. First time I didn't open it. And second time when I opened it, I thought there is some emergency. Why is somebody knocking the door so heavily? And uh, the, that's why I opened the door. And when they, I opened the door, a, a young guy came in with a dagger and five, four more who accompanied him. They just entered my coupe and just asked me to uh, give, give them all the valuables and cash. They took away all the cash from my purse and my, my husband's purse, which was also kept in my purse, uh, in my bag. And then they said, okay, take out all your jewelry. So I took out my ring, uh, right hand ring, and this, uh, one of them snatched my chain. And I told them that I, this is, ring is not coming out, the left hand ring is not coming out. And they, then they said, we will cut off the finger. And that was quite daring and I was... Uh, were you, were you was shocked scared. because you're a woman, uh, you know, a I number of people really overpower... I was not really shocked when they were talking badly and misbehaving and I said, just shut up. Hey, tum kya kar ba baat tamiz se karo. De rahe tumko. Tamiz se baat karo aur yahan aaye kaise, guze kaise. I was, I, I'm, I'm really myself surprised that I was not shocked at that time. I was not... Uh, were you at any point of time scared for your own life, your husband's no, life? I was not scared about that. I was just scared that what are they doing and how I can, I can escape this situation and how I can handle the situation nicely. I was just worried about that. At and what I'm really point of worried time? now, okay, why couldn't I help others and why couldn't I help myself? Uh, at my, at my what time did the security come in, the RPF come in? RPF came in because RPF could not have come in, entered in because of the uh, closing down of the shutters on both the sides. The gangsters uh, and the robbers. Close, uh, close down the shutters and when they they got down only when the chain was pulled and when the RPF came in and they started firing then only they ran away and then the uh, RPF came in. Uh, one final point uh, how do you you are obviously in the parliament along with your husband you plan to make this an issue uh, will you be speaking to Suresh Prabhu the rail minister how do you plan to take this forward because safety and security is a major concern that's right we are we are going to take it forward and our MP from Damo Mr. Pralad Patel is going to raise this issue today only today itself and my husband is there in the central hall to see the railway minister and to talk about this issue well thank you so much for speaking to us and obviously talking about this daring train robbery which happened not very far away in Kosi uh, not very far away from Delhi but the point is if there is a talk about safety and security of passengers. This is a point in case and this is a VVIP couple, uh, Madhya Pradesh Finance Minister and his wife. So obviously now this raises a lot of questions especially regarding safety and security of passengers in railways today. With camera person Kirpal, this is Kamaljeet Sandhu in Delhi for headlines today. Absolutely shocking case coming to light over there. Kamaljeet Kaur Sandhu is now joining us with more details. Kamal, since this robbery took place while the train was crossing Uttar Pradesh, is the Uttar Pradesh state government also likely to be roped in? 
Uh, well, Maha, at one point of time, I need to speedily tell you that uh, Railways has ordered a high-level probe into this entire case. Uh, the RPF IG has spoken to the DG of Uttar Pradesh. A uh, detailed report has been sought. And remember, uh, since this uh, robbery ha happened in a moving train, uh, the, the couple could not register the FIR. The RPF uh, came in. Uh, they did chase. We do believe that there was an exchange of fire, uh, especially with these robbers who had uh, knives in their hands. But obviously, they got away. Uh, we also know that now these three RPF constables have been suspended. They were part of the escort. Uh, but our sources clearly also point out that RPF duty is very limited. Now, they do take care of safety and security. But yes, as far as law and order is concerned, it is still a state subject. Now, there have been an entire controversy about uh, who is going to be handling uh, especially cases in a running train in this particular case itself. Is it the RPF or is it something uh, of the state police? Now, this uh, is also a point in case because uh, till the train really stopped in Delhi, uh, the couple could not raise an alarm. They could not register an FIR. Uh, they obviously the blame came to the RPF, who did try to chase this particular robbers. Uh, now a detailed. Uh, 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 a detailed report has been sought in that particular case. Uh, they'll really have to come up. But yes, this also becomes a point in case, especially in regards to the controversy. Uh, remember, uh, Suresh okay. Prabhu during the uh, during the budget also pointed out mm -hmm. uh, that now there is a facility with the passengers that they can register an FIR in the running train. Uh, now their own MP and their own finance minister uh, from uh, Madhya Pradesh uh, could not do so. Uh, what about the normal people? Uh, more people could obviously be on on the task. These robbers were obviously not mm -hmm. limiting themselves to one person. Uh, the RPF just came in time so the, the, these people could really survive and just become victims and uh, live to tell the tale. Uh, but yes, it talks about lawlessness not in Uttar Pradesh but also in the running trains. Uh, Kamal, also uh, Suresh Prabhu, as you were mentioning that the railway minister had made some tall claims about safety of passengers. Now, uh, the minister concerned here, uh, Mr. Jayanth is going to be speaking with the railway minister as well. Has he been assured of a hasty probe in this matter? Well, definitely a high-level probe is already underway. Uh, Rail Minister has already told uh, IG he's been briefed by him. The IG RPF, on the other hand, has spoken to the Uttar Pradesh. But remember, this is also becomes a point in case because once they come into Delhi, uh, they are obviously out of the jurisdiction of to which place this is uh, obviously uh, uh, Kosi where this happened. Uh, this is obviously moved away. In a case of a normal passenger, perhaps it would have uh, been much, much more difficult. Uh, but right. here is the Finance Minister from Madhya Pradesh. So yes, a high-level probe has been ordered. Uh, there has been a suspension of three RPF constables. Uh, the uh, lady we spoke to obviously spoke uh, that these people were not really at fault. Uh, they had limited ammunition. They did try to chase these particular robbers. Uh, but again, uh, this becomes a case where, yes, there could be a discussion about how law and order uh, is just being a state subject could actually prevent uh, criminals from being caught by the RPF uh, because they have a limited jurisdiction of just covering the security point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, this is obviously going to generate a lot of debate. But right Right now, this is about lawlessness, about how there is a lack of control. Uh, there's been also been a talk of how much security and how much expensive it has become as far as the budget is concerned, okay. pumping in more money, uh, getting CCTV cameras installed. Uh, but yes, uh, normal robbers can just get inside a moving train, loot and obviously pull the, uh, pull the chain and get down and run away, uh, run away with looted material. This is obviously something which has been known as a daring uh, train robbery now. Absolutely a daring robbery there. High-level probe has been ordered in that case. Kamaljeet, many thanks for getting us those details.